Welcome to The Late Show. I'm Stephen Colbert. Well, it's finally here. After six years of trying last night, the Republicans finally unveiled their health care plan. Then, out of force of habit, they voted to repeal it. <laughs> now, there's some things, there's some things they're keeping from Obamacare. Kids staying on their parents' health care until they're 26. <laughs> Insurance companies can't discriminate because of pre-existing conditions. Grandma will still be murdered by death panels while Nancy Pelosi cackles from her skybox. No cheer for that? Okay. Oh, there's one other thing they're keeping from Obamacare. Nobody likes it. Conservatives are calling it Obamacare light. Great taste, less coverage. While, meanwhile, so that's the conservatives. Conservatives don't care for it. Meanwhile, Democrats are unhappy because experts estimate this will cover 20 million fewer Americans than Obamacare. Oh, pretty rough. 20 million fewer than Obama. That sounds like Trump's inauguration. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm honored. Speaking of which, this is true. Because of a Freedom of Information request, the Park Service today were forced to release all of the photos they took at Trump's inauguration. Before, we were only seeing part of the photo. We didn't see everything from the Capitol to uh, the Washington Monument. The photos came out today, and it's worse than Trump feared. Jim, can we put up uh, next to Obama's? Here's Obama's, and here's Trump's. <laughs> that, that really looks like the before and after photos in an ad for Orkin. The point is, 20 million is a lot of people without health insurance. I don't know anybody who could be happy about that. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, go on, that's enough. Go on, go on. I will see you. I will see you in 70 years. He's a good guy. You'd like him. Where was I? Oh, yeah, we're all gonna die. Um, <laughs> one of the other differences is that Trump Care replaces federal insurance subsidies with tax credits. So everything's gonna be fine, but you're gonna have your colonoscopy at H&R Block. <laughs> now, I can imagine what a lot of you out there, you guys over there, I'm sure, and everybody out there is worrying. You're saying to yourself, but Stephen, how is this gonna affect super wealthy insurance company executives? Well, good news. <laughs> Because the plan includes a tax break for insurance company executives making over $500,000 a year. So, all of them? <laughs> Speaking of taxes, uh, the bill also repeals the 10% tax on indoor tanning. Oh, good, Donald Trump can finally go the full tandoori. <laughs> then, oh, his meat. So juicy. Hey, a tandoori chicken, eh? His meat is just gonna fall right off the bone. <laughs> A little yogurt sauce, fantastic. And then, then, this is the thing, this is weird fact that in a 66-page document, because that's what it released, a 66-page plan, seven of those pages are about denying Medicaid to lottery winners. Over 10% of it is just about denying Medicaid to lottery winners, which is shocking. If anything, Trump should empathize with people who are handed a bunch of money they didn't earn. <laughs> He was born. He was born with a lotto ticket in his hand. He had it in his hand. That was nice. Now, for fiscal conservatives, the most important thing is what will this all cost? Well, the numbers are in, and it's approximately 3.4. We have no <laughs> ideas because the Republicans released this bill without estimates of its cost from the Congressional Budget Office. Yeah, so, so this bill is going to be like those fancy restaurants where they don't have what it costs on the menu. Hmm, let's see. I want the heart surgery. Mm, market price. Mm. No, I'll just stuff my chest with uh, bread. Thank you. <laughs> Republicans defended the plan. Um, here's Oregon Congressman Greg Walden. We're like the ambulance crew that showed up at the scene of the wreck. We're here to clean up the mess and heal the patients. That's not quite it. 
It's more like an ambulance crew that hates the previous ambulance crew so much that they rip the patients out of that ambulance and put them in their own ambulance, which they are still building. <laughs> now, the, the burden... <laughs> the burden of these changes falls mostly on the working poor, who got some sage advice from Utah congressman and captain of the bad team from the Mighty Ducks, <laughs> Jason Chaffetz. And you know what? Americans have choices, and they've got to make a choice. And so maybe rather than getting that new iPhone that they just love and they want to go spend hundreds of dollars on that, maybe they should invest it in their own health care. Yeah. The average cost of health insurance for a family is $25,000, so poor folks just stop buying 33 iPhones every year. <laughs> it's that simple. And today, thank you, iPhone fans. Big iPhone fans. And today, uh, Sean Spicer, the uh, press secretary for uh, Donald Trump, answered questions about Trump care at the Daily White House Show and Tell. These over 974 pages that were passed, and then we were told we had to read them. Our plan in far fewer pages, 123, much smaller, much bigger. Look at the size. This is the Democrats. This is us. There is, I mean, you can't get any clearer in terms of this is government, this is not. Yes. <laughs> when it comes to writing anything down, shorter is always better. That's why Moby Dick is much worse than the instruction book that comes with your rice cooker. <laughs> Look, if shorter is better, why not just a one-page plan that says, walk it off? <laughs> of course... Oh, walk it out. Shot of that would be nice. Oh, walk it out. Of course, the other big story today is that Trump's BFFs over at WikiLeaks took a wiki dump on the CIA. <laughs> they released 8,000 pages of documents detailing the agency's cyber spying powers, proving the CIA is capable of anything except keeping a secret. <laughs> and oh, you know what I want to talk to you about this? General Michael Hayden, who's going to be on here later in the show. He was the head of the CIA <laughs> and the NSA. He'll have a thing or two to say about this mm -hmm. and the whole thing, the Trump thing, too. Okay, there's some crazy revelations in this WikiLeaks dump. The CIA apparently has a program codenamed Weeping Angel, which uses Samsung smart televisions as covert listening devices. Even when they appear to be turned off, the TV could be recording conversations in the room and sending them to a CIA server. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is true. I have all Samsung TVs in my house. <laughs> And that means the CIA has hundreds of hours of me looking for the remote. <laughs> I don't... Where is it? What is... Where is it? Where is it? Who took it? Who took it? Who took it to the kitchen? Who took it to... I also watch nude, so they're getting a great shot here. <laughs> Who took... <Hey>. The moon. <laughs> That joke is based on a true story. <laughs> and don't think just because you have some sort of antivirus or protection software, you are safe. Because one of the WikiLeaks documents describes a flaw in security software made by the company Komodo as a gaping hole of doom. <laughs> which I believe is also what the Republicans are calling their Obamacare replacement. <laughs> Speaking... <laughs> Meanwhile, the White House reopened for tours today for the first time since the inauguration, and one tour group was surprised with an appearance by Donald Trump. Hiya! <laughs> hey! Hiya! 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 Who's your favorite clown? Now! Hiya! 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 Hey! Yay! He learned that this move. This move right there, yeah, he learned that move. He learned that move from the dressing rooms of the Miss USA pageant. <laughs> Who's naked? <laughs> <laughs> that joke is also based on a true story. <laughs> Sad to say. And just take rolls again, Jimmy. Look who's painting he's standing in front of. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Wow. 
That is, uh... Awkward! Apparently, presidential portraits are commissioned based on the popular vote. <laughs> now, while he was there... He's coming out swinging! <laughs> <laughs> while he was there, the president singled out one young member on the tour for a pat on the back, hopefully inspiring that young man to believe that one day he, too, could grow up to do anything for attention.